Well, good afternoon and welcome. I find that the mic helps if I'm masked. So you'll find out when I take it. Yep. Yep. Someone had asked for it to be streamed? Yep. Okay, good. We'll also have it recorded so in case um, it'll be posted on YouTube and we can put it on as a private as opposed to public. So, so welcome. Welcome to a COVID baptism. So uh, things are a little strange, but very familiar, I, I think, still. Uh, there isn't a lot of movement. So what will happen is I will come to you, not a lot closer than I am now, but a couple times I will. When we actually get to the baptismal part, I'm going to have you all come over here Obviously, this is the baptismal bowl. And I'll have you um, kind of stand together semi-circle. So the camera is right there. So if you're wondering why it's off-center, that's why. Um, so when, when you do that, um, do you know who's going to hold the child? And, and I only say that because if you're right-handed, it's or if you're doing it this way, it maybe is a little easier, but it, it, it depending on which side you could switch. Usually it's the parent, especially since the godparents are the parents. I mean, if you wanted to shift, that's okay too. But it, uh, it's sort of, it, different cultures have different traditions on how they do that. Um, one of the parts that we're going to get to is uh, we will pray petitions, and after the petitions, we will invoke the saints. So we'll do a litany of saints. During that time, if you individually have a particular saint that you like to pray to, someone that you remember a lot, um, I'll invite you to say those names out loud. I, I've kind of, there is a saint Amanda's. So, and in the Catholic Church, when we don't have a woman saint that goes, we borrow the man's and we make it feminine. And vice versa, come to think of it. Anyway, so uh, just, just to say that, we, we like to get as many saints as possible. And if you could turn off the flash, the, the, the shot should still come out okay. But just the flash is what's generally distracting. Um. <laughs> Any questions before we start? Usually people ask about pictures. Now what we can do after is you can come up and, and you can take some pictures and then if you want a particular formal one that you want to lower the mask for, that would be okay. The, the, as long as um, you're socially distant. You know the drill these days. So are we all set? Okay. So let's have everyone stand up as we start. I'm going to back up. So parents and godparents, family and friends, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your children, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your children and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you, for today, the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased, and we offer you our support in raising your children in the practice of the faith. Therefore, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for these children and the family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. So let's see. It's Mike and Amanda, right? What name do you give your child? Frederick Burns Nelson. And what do you ask of God's church for Frederick Burns Nelson? To be baptized. Great. You understand that in asking to have him baptized in the faith, you are agreeing to teach him the ways of the church, especially the ways of loving God and loving neighbor. Do you understand that responsibility? Good. 
and Nick and Catherine. What name do you give your son? Theo Michael Burjak. And what do you ask of the church for uh, Theo Michael Burjak? Baptism. And you understand that in asking to have this child baptized in the faith, you are agreeing to bring him up to understand the ways of Christ and the church of loving God and loving neighbor. So godparents, who else is godparents? Godparents, are you going to help the parents raise these children in the faith? How about the rest of the family? Are you going to help as well? Great. Good job. Then it is, uh, it is with great joy that the church receives each of you in the name of Christ our Savior. And I will now sign each of them with the sign of the cross of Christ. And after me, parents, you can sign them as well. And now we can all be seated and we'll listen to the word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. And then he embraced them, blessed them, placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. So can you guess why we would do that Gospel? Have you ever been to a baptism when they didn't? It, it's, it's probably the most common. There, there are other times when they do. When we look at this Gospel, I, I mean, the pictures, I mean, the pictures I grew up with, you know, Jesus is in a, a green meadow with big green trees. It's never the fall, never the spring, never the winter. Uh, but, but he's there, usually sitting on a, a log of some type, and, and uh, the children are coming, running to him. The gospel is meant to be a lighthearted, delightful uh, excursion into what it means to come to Christ. I mean, our, our first clue, Jesus wants the children to come. He, he he knows that kids know best how to be spontaneous, right? Right? Okay. And parents know that sometimes you like it when kids are spontaneous and sometimes... But how many of you remember when you were spontaneous as a kid? And it isn't something we necessarily control. So the disciples didn't quite get that what Jesus was telling them about letting the children come to him applied to them as well. Because every single one of us in this room is just an older child. And we need to look at Jesus as inviting us to come to. So the, those times when these kids aren't always doing everything quite the way you want them to, that's the time you run to Jesus. That, that's the time that he blesses you. And, and, and so we're all connected together in this sacrament. So baptism is meant to bring the children to Christ, but, you know, the, the, the um, what do you call it, the run-up to it? The run-up to it is the questions that I just asked you. Name? Do you understand? You're going to hear that a few more times. You're going to hear more prayers and blessings. All of that to say, the children will get that too. But underneath that, for us as for them, it's Christ saying, come to me. And if we never lose sight of that, then everything else falls into place. So are we ready for that? Are we ready? 
Okay. So then. <clears throat> I invite you all to stand once again and uh, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for these children who are about to receive the grace of baptism, for parents, godparents, and for all who are baptized. So your response is going to be, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. So, gracious God, give these children new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection, and join them to your holy church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Make of them faithful disciples and witnesses to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Lead them through holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Make their parents and godparents shining examples of faith for them. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Keep their families always in your love. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each one of us. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayer. And now we invite the, the intercession of the saints. So I have a few, and then I'll open it up to you, and we'll see where we go. So Holy Mary, Mother of God, the response is pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us. And today is also the Feast of St. Luke. So St. Luke, pray for us. I've got St. Frederick, pray for us. And St. Theodore, pray for us. St. Michael, go into us. Exactly. Uh, St. William, St. Nicholas, St. Marie. And of course, Marie is also another form of Mary, so both ways. St. Edward, St. Amanda, pray for us. St. Catherine, St. Teresa of Avila. Who else? What other saints would you like us to call on? St. Padre Pio. Pray for us. St. Anselm. Pray for us. It's the Mass. St. <laughs> Anthony. Pray for us. And if we're going with Anthony, St. Francis of Assisi. Pray for us. We should put Claire in there too. It's the St. Claire of Assisi. St. Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. All you holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Almighty and ever living God. Oops. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free these children from original sin, to make them temples of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the strength of Christ, the Savior, protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the strength of Christ, our Savior, protect you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on these children by water and the Holy Spirit. Now I'm going to bless the water. Now, the, the water blessing is the lawn. It's several thousand years long. Hopefully it won't take me that long to, to say it for you. But as you listen to it, listen to the different references from the Old Testament and especially the New Testament that bring us to the baptism of today. And, and we also have the blessing of having added Jordan River water 
into Chicago water, which of course brings all the other, well, you know. So, so we ask God's blessing on this water. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and the beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people, set free from the slavery of Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit as he hung upon the cross and gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for it the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. And may the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by a baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the children you have presented are about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring them up in the faith so that the divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and grow in them day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. So do you renounce Satan? and all his works, and all his empty show? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. If you want to bring the kids over to the font, whichever order. Well, you're closest. Why don't you come first? <laughs> and if you just want to stand a little bit next to them, so you can watch what's going on. So is it your will that Theo be baptized in this faith which we have all professed with you? Hold him over the font. Theo, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and I baptize you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oops. There you go. There you go. And
and is it your will that Frederick be baptized in this faith we have professed with you? Frederick, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then if you want to come closer again. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has come. There we go. Come. <laughs> I've got people to reach them. So that's it. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed each of you from sin and given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain always as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, unto eternal life. Amen. So, this is the chrism. You've each become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in the snazzy white garments that you are wearing, the outward sign of your Christian dignity, and with your family and friends to help by word and example, bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. Okay. So. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly, so that your children, enlightened by Christ, may always walk as children of the light. And persevering in the faith, may they run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in that heavenly kingdom. Amen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, these, child, these children, reborn through baptism, are now called children of God, for indeed they are. Through confirmation, they will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, they will share at the table of his sacrifice and call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. And now, in his name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us all pray together in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from them. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth in their children. May he graciously bless the mothers of these children so that as they now give thanks to God for the gift of their children, they may always be united with him in thanksgiving in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life both in heaven and on earth, bless the fathers of these children, so that together with their wives, they may be, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their children in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth by, into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present that always and everywhere 
they may be active members of his people, and may he bestow his peace on all who are here. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace. Congratulations. And you can extinguish the candles if you'd like.